Hello everyone and welcome back to another Formcraft 4 video. Today I'm going to show you the basics of alchemy. So firstly you will need a crucible um, filled with water and you should have a heat source under it and in Formcraft 4 nitor actually works and you should know I cheated that in for this demonstration. So here's Nitor, a recipe for it, Ignus, free Ignus, free Lux and free Potentia. And here's the catalyst, in this case it's glowstone dust. You need to research items with your thermometer to find out what aspects they have, like this stone block and the cone that has Potentia and Ignus, the torch which has Locks. So to create the nitro, I will need two coal and three ignus. Not an ignus. Three coal and three to three to two coal and three torches. But then some aspects will be left over: one ignus and one potential. These will go out in the atmosphere and turn into flux and flux can get you some pretty bad effects so you want to balance the equation so what I'm going to do is throw down let's see here free coal so I get six and six and six torches see, free coal and six torches. And now I got it in there. And I got have uh, goggles of revealing so I can see what's inside. Without them, you can't. Let's see what happens if I throw down one glowstone. I will get one uh, nitro and because it's free, free, free this is oh that's some kind of flux I think but the thing you should know is that aspects decompose over time so you need to be quick when you do this and blocks of let's fly up and see what this is birch oh I got nauseated and taint so you can get taint inside from the crucible it looks like that and as you see it goes up. So that's the basics of alchemy. Yeah, there's some other ways to craft things in uh, Foamcraft, but this is what I was going to go over this time. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you like the video, like it. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.